One of the first steps in planning a project is to break down the project by its major deliverables, i.e. the product or service components. An organised hierarchical breakdown or decomposition of all the deliverables is known as the work breakdown structure, WBS, of the project. After you have created the WBS, you then describe the activities required to produce those deliverables. This video clip discusses the work breakdown structure and demonstrates how to create a simple WBS in Primavera P6 Professional. On the screen we have our demonstration WBS. This is a WBS for a pipe repair and improvement project, listed on level 1. As you can see on the WBS, the project has three major WBS elements or deliverables. Demolition piping, installation piping and quality assurance. Installation piping breaks further down into pipe and couplings and thrust block. Pipe and couplings would include the installation of piping, installation adapter couplings, and also installation of pipe insulation. What is common about all the WBS elements is that they are deliverable orientated. They are generally defined using nouns, not verbs, and the WBS elements or work packages at the lowest levels, demolition piping, pipe and couplings, thrust block and quality assurance support the definition of the required tasks. Unlike some scheduling software programs that are somewhat of a bottom-up approach, Primavera P6 Professional encourages you to create a WBS or deliverable breakdown structure at the beginning of the project. This is known as a top-down approach. Let's first show what we mean by a bottom-up approach. On the screen we have a sample Microsoft project schedule. Here our first schedule creation effort was to list out all the required tasks. Afterwards, we note in particular that set forms, lay rebar, pour concrete and strike forms are all similar tasks or all have one thing in common. They are all required for producing the thrust block deliverable. We therefore insert a task above set forms and name it thrust block. Then we indent set forms, lay rebar, pour concrete and strike forms, the related tasks to generate the summary task or deliverable. Thrust block. We repeat this process for the pipe and couplings deliverable and associated tasks. The problem with this approach, this bottom-up approach, is that you are in a sense putting the cart before the horse. You are first considering the required tasks and only later consider the deliverable that these tasks are producing. You may recall Stephen Covey's notable book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, where one of his seven main principles was to begin with the end in mind. In Primavera P6 Professional, we begin with the end in mind, which is the end product or service deliverable that is the whole purpose of the schedule. Now that we know why Primavera P6 begins with the definition of a WBS, let's walk through the steps of inserting a WBS in P6. 
We begin with the Shell Primavera P6 schedule. A Shell project is one that has been created but with no WBS and activities. Essentially it is an empty project. Again, P6 begins schedule creation with the insertion of a WBS. We have here our piping project listed in the Enterprise Project Structure System in P6. We highlight our project and select Project WBS from the top drop down menu. This opens up the WBS tab. Highlight the piping WBS code at the top and select Edit plus Add in the top drop down menu. This creates a new WBS element that is a child of piping. Note that the WBS code is selected. Do not change this WBS code because P6 automatically generates this value. Instead, select New WBS in the WBS name column and type in the appropriate WBS element name, which is Demolition Piping. Next, we add another WBS element. This one is named Installation Piping. Note that every time we add a new WBS element, it creates a child of the highlighted WBS element. This worked well for Demolition Piping because we want it to be a child of piping. However, we want insulation piping to be a sibling of demolition piping. To make demolition piping and installation piping siblings, we need to use the Move Tool Group. Click the Move Tool Group at the far right of the screen and drag it over to our workspace. Highlight installation piping and click the left arrow to make it a sibling of demolition piping. Proceed by adding another WBS element. Name it Pipe and Couplings. We want it to be a child of installation piping, so we do not need to move it. Enter another WBS element. And name it Thrust Block. Yes, we need to outdent or move thrust block left. Finally, add the Quality Assurance WBS element. Which we outdent twice. That's it. Your WBS is entered. The key point is to note that P6 always creates a child WBS element of the highlighted WBS element. So sometimes you will need to outdent the WBS element to make it a sibling. Note, if your WBS code is incorrect, let's say thrust block should have been 2.3. I can highlight the WBS code column and enter a number. So I enter 3 here. And when I do, it automatically appends that number to the parents of that element. Of course, we want our thrust block to be piping 2.2. So I enter 2 and it automatically changes it to piping 2.2. Now that we've inserted our WBS, we can view it in P6 in a hierarchical chart view. In the top layout tool group, select the chart view icon and P6 will display your WBS in a chart view. This chart view can be printed out or you can capture a screenshot of it using Snagit to create a JPEG file, which then can be read into presentation software. Let's take a look at the WBS in the Activities Display view. Select the Activities icon in the Project Tool group, the green bar icon. This opens the Activities tab. The WBS in the Activities view should look similar to the WBS in the WBS view. If not, open the Gantt Chart Layout. Select Layout, 
Open, say No, and Gantt chart. Now your Activities view should look similar to the WBS view. Note, also using the Group and Sort feature, we can remove the code from the WBS element so we just have name and description. Or we could include the code with a title, the title being WBS, the code being piping 2.2 etc. Let's go ahead and get rid of the WBS title, it's not necessary. One last helpful trick. We can display the Activities view alongside the WBS view using a split screen. For this to work, you must have the WBS tab next to the Activities tab and have the Activities tab active. Select View, Tab Groups, New Vertical Tab Group. This creates a split screen where we can view our WBS and also we can view our activities table with WBS elements listed. So if we make a change to our WBS elements in the WBS view, we can automatically see that change in the activities view. To go back to the single WBS view, select View, Tab Groups, Merge All Tab Groups. So that's it. The WBS is an important scheduling concept to understand. Focus on breaking the deliverables down into component product elements that are small enough so that work activities can be clearly defined and assigned to these elements. The WBS elements, again, are your deliverables and help define the necessary activities. Creating a WBS at the beginning of the scheduling process, as we do in Primavera P6 Professional, helps keep your eye on the ball and maintain a proper product focus throughout.